Ryanair made 867 million euros in 2020 as profits, which is 50% less compared to 2021. How is Ryanair making an exorbitant amount, despite bad reviews all over? Imagine you had to fly from one country to another, and the commute to the airport from your home is more costly than the actual flight ticket. That is Ryanair for you. In fact, some of the one-way train tickets in Europe cost more than round trips with Ryanair. It is common knowledge that air travel is extremely costly, with the cost of aviation fuel, maintenance and salaries of cabin crew being high for aviation companies. So how does Ryanair remain so profitable with such low-cost flights with the worst reviews ever? Or is there something sinister and secret behind Ryanair's money-making strategy? In this video, we are going to find out the answers to that. So keep watching till the end. Ryanair was founded in 1984 as Danren Enterprises by Christopher Rann, Liam Lonergan, owner of Irish travel agent Club Travel, and Irish businessman Tony Rann, founder of Guinness Peat Aviation. The airline was shortly renamed Ryanair. It began operations in 1985, flying a 15-seat Embraer Bandurant turboprop aircraft between Waterford and Gatwick Airport. In 1986, the company added a second route flying Dublin to Luton, thus directly competing with the Aer Lingus or British Airways duopoly for the first time. Under partial EEC deregulation, airlines could begin new international intra-EEC services as long as one of the two governments approved, also known as the double disapproval regime. The Irish government at the time refused its approval to protect Aer Lingus, but Britain, under Margaret Thatcher's deregulation of the Conservative government, approved the service. With two routes and two aircraft, the fledgling airline carried 82,000 passengers in one year. In 1986, the directors of Ryanair took an 85% stake in London European Airways. From 1987, this provided a connection with the Luton Ryanair service onward to Amsterdam and Brussels. In 1988, London European Airways operated as Ryanair Europe and later began to operate charter services. That same year, Michael O'Leary joined the company as chief financial officer. In 1989, a short Sandringham was operated with Ryanair sponsorship titles, but never flew revenue-generating services for the airline. Due to decreasing profits, the company restructured in 1990, copying the low fares model of Southwest Airlines after O'Leary visited the company. In November 2018, Ryanair was joined by Ryanair Sun. This was a Polish airline designed to cut operating costs. In March 2019, the second subsidiary was formed. As an Irish airline, Ryanair is also an EU airline. The airline's largest base has historically been at London's Stansted Airport. Anticipating possible issues post-Brexit, the airline sought to launch a UK subsidiary called Ryanair UK. In December 2018, a Boeing 737-800 was registered on the UK registry as g -Ruka. August 2019 saw the creation of the airline's largest subsidiary to date. Known as Malta Air, the airline has bases across Europe and has slowly taken market share from Ryanair. The final airline was bought by Ryanair rather than created by the LCC. Lotomotion began operating Ryanair flights in late 2019, according to scheduled data from aviation data expert Sirium, and is the reason Ryanair has a handful of Airbus narrow bodies in its fleet. The market share of Buzz and Malted Air began to grow steadily. There was a brief exception during the height of the first wave of COVID-19 in Europe when all of the airline's few flights were operated by the main Ryanair airline. Ryanair Sun initially began operating charter flights in April 2018. In mid to late 2018, Ryanair announced that it would be closing its Polish bases and transferring operations to Ryanair Sun. In March 2019, Ryanair revealed that Ryanair Sun was getting a rebrand and ditching the primary brand name. The airline now operates as Buzz, 
while all the Boeing 737-800 NG aircraft still wear the old Ryan Air livery. The new Boeing 737 MAX jets have the Buzz livery, complete with B cartoons on the winglets. Ryan Air purchased the Buzz brand in 2003 for around 20 million euros. According to data from official and unofficial sources, the airline today has a 58-strong fleet of 46 Boeing 700 and 37 to 800 aircraft, accompanied by 12 Boeing 737 MAX 200s. With the Boeing 737 MAX aircraft delivery, the fleet's average age has dropped from 4.3 years to 3.0 years since July 2021. The airline has bases in Slovakia, Hungary, Poland, Czechia, and Austria. Primary base is Warsaw's Modlin Airport. There are a number of ways that low-cost carriers help remain profitable. The first tactic is the staff. Ryanair has a very, very limited staff of its own. In fact, Ryanair does not have its own pilot. Ryanair is extremely proficient in outsourcing its operations. If a pilot wants to work for them, they will make the pilot set up his own company, and then they hire him on a temporary basis as a contract employee. What does it mean for Ryanair? Well, they do not have to pay the same taxes as they would. For regular employees, they're also not responsible for paying any benefits including sick pay. Sick pay is required by law in most EU countries for regular employees. But since the pilot is employed in his own company and is a contractor for Ryanair, they can evade the law. They have the same employment structure for other employees as well. This means that their staff costs are significantly lower than other airlines. So why would any pilot choose to work for Ryanair? Because Ryanair makes the pilots accrue flying hours when they fly with Ryanair. In a way, the carrier sees them doing a service to the pilots, even if the pilots almost make no money. Pilots who work for Ryanair can use their experience to work for other airlines, which will be a boost to their careers after working with Ryanair. Next up is the hub. Ryanair, just like many other low-cost airlines, is registered in Ireland. But you must be wondering why are many budget airlines essentially based in Ireland? Aside from many historical links, Ireland has favorable tax laws, write-offs, and accountancy rules. But Ryanair has another strategy that they use. They have a staggering 82 hubs across Europe. This allows Ryanair to operate non-stop flights. There are no connecting flights on their website, even. They do not have to use the airport infrastructure for connecting flights, and they do not have to pay connecting airport fees. In addition, they avoid paying for crew hotels and all types of places because they will usually have a crew base in each hub. Along with that, Ryanair also has flights across multiple destinations, especially in small European cities. This helps because then people can travel easily across multiple destinations with Ryanair because of the already cheap airfares. This helps the company indirectly as it generates more revenue. Fleet is another way Ryanair makes so much money. Full-service airlines usually have a huge fleet of aircraft, which helps to adjust capacity to match demand since they do not have much room to move in terms of price. Instead, they can match the flight capacity according to the demand. Ryanair and other low-cost airlines, on the other hand, employ one or two aircraft types only. This helps them order these aircraft in bulk, and they get massive discounts on them. And it helps low-cost airlines. Extra charges. Although Ryanair has ultra-low airfares, they make a significant amount of money by charging extra services, even services that other airlines offer for free, like food, luggage, and extra legroom. Ryanair charges passengers for using toilets as well, something that is unimaginable for other airlines. These are some of the scheming tactics that Ryanair uses to remain profitable. Not only that, but Ryanair is also the largest airline in Ireland and the largest low-cost airline in Europe by volume of passengers flown. And surprisingly, Ryanair is preferred by millions of people every year because of its ultra-low prices.
Even though their services are not up to the mark, in many cases, Ryanair even makes passengers go through a lot of hurdles and trouble because the carrier usually does not provide any complimentary services. But Ryanair makes it easy for passengers to travel across Europe at extremely low fares. And because of that, Ryanair continues to be one of the most profitable airlines in the world. If you like this video, then hit the like button. Subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss another video.